Hi guys, Martin here coming to you with my build, full build and final reveal video for the Dragon 144 scale MiG-23 MF Flogger B. There it is. I generally don't go down to this scale. I usually like bigger scale because of my eyes. So I was uh, probably masochistic to attempt this. And uh, very tiny. I was wearing my uh, OptiVisor lenses all throughout the build and painting. And after completing the build, my eyes were blurred for a few hours and they're still kind of blurred now. I'm trying to readjust after not wearing those magnifying lenses. Anyway, it's kit number 4507 by Dragon. This is the original boxing from 1990. Kit was sent to me by uh, Freda, Fernando Duarte, so thanks Freda for one of the other kits that you've sent me. Um, did I enjoy it? Apart from how strenuous it was on my eyesight, yeah, I did enjoy it. It was quick. It took me about 30 minutes to put the model together and then the rest was painting and then assembling the small parts at the end. A lot of small parts actually for a little little kit. But anyway, not a bad kit, nice recessed panel lines. Not a lot of detail because it's a small, uh, just a solid seat pilot moulding that goes into the cockpit and that's it. But it comes with four missiles and a drop tank so some ordnance on the underside makes it look a little more interesting. Other than that, there's not more I can say guys, it's, uh, it's cheap and cheerful and quick and easy but very strenuous on the eyes. So let's move on to the build, let's not mess around any further, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching guys, Talio, chocks away. So this is the box art on the front of the box showing a East German interceptor version which is the only option that's available with this kit. Now this kit's been designed to tool two different aircraft, the MiG-23 and the MiG-27 and all they do is leave out the parts for the MiG-27 when they offer the MiG-23. That's the rear of the box showing the simple instructions for assembler and then the paint call out and decal positionings on the bottom. There's two bags of sprues and two sheets of decals. Four sprues in total and you'll see there's a lot of missing parts on the sprues because they're the parts that would be used for the MiG-27 version. There's one sprue. There's a smaller sprue and all that's got on it is the uh, main undercarriage doors. There's a third sprue with the upper and lower fuselage halves and the wings. Uh, tail fin and stabilizers and that's the front nose pieces um, air intakes and missiles and there's the clear sprue for the MiG-23 and then there's also it also had included the canopy for the MiG-27 there are the decal sheets for both options 27 and the 23 of course this is a 23 so let's move on to the build well, I didn't show any pictures of assembly because it was so quick. There were only 14 parts to build the plane and it took me about 25-30 minutes. So I built it up, put things on cocktail sticks to get it ready for painting. A little filler required around the air intake, so I did that, smoothed it down. And then I did my clean up with isopropyl alcohol, get everything clean, ready for priming. So there we are, primed everything let that dry for an hour and then uh, I pre-shaded and there is everything with a pre-shading on that's the top side of the model and that's the underside with a quarter next to it to give you an idea of how small this aircraft is so after that I moved on to painting the underside and every part on the underside that wants that light blue colour and then I went to the top side and did the first colour. I always start with the lightest colour, which is the light tan. And then I went on to the reddish brown colour and I used a leather for that. All the paints used were model masters. The last paint colour to do on the camouflage was the green. And here's a picture of the palette with all the pretty pit colours all in order. The way they were applied starting at the top with the primer. 
So after painting the plane, it was on to details. So I detailed the cockpit, the pilot, painted the nose, painted the uh, wheel bays, and the engine exhauster. And then I painted all the peripheral parts, on the carriage doors, wheels, struts, um, missiles, pylons. And once everything was painted, it was uh, time to do a gloss clear coat to get her ready for decaling. And there she is, and the parts all shiny with the gloss clear coat on. Again, I use Model Masters for that. And here we are preparing everything for decals. Always use Solver Set, it's my go to decal solution. And there we go, there's some little stencils there, which is unbelievable for a 144 scale. I had to use four times magnification on my optivisors to see those small stencils. Couldn't see them with the naked eye. So after applying the decals, um, they were sealed in with a gloss clear coat, which is shown in this picture. And again, I've got a quarter there, just so you can see again. Be reminded just how small this is. And after clear coating and set sealing those decals in, it was on to weathering, using oils and odorless mineral spirits to thin them down. First thing I did was give it a bleaching, fading wash, give it an aged, battle weary look. And then I went on to doing a pin wash to highlight all the panel lines. I then gave all the peripheral parts a dark dirt wash. I then sealed all that in with a flat clear coat. And then when the flat clear coat had dried, I went on to acrylic washes to uh, do some highlighting of panel lines on the top side. And adding some streaks, oil stains, fuel stains, things like that. And it was on to assembler. First thing I did was attach the canopy, glue that in place, and then I put everything on the underside, the undercarriage, the wheel bay doors, and the missiles. And then I scratch built a pointy spiky piece for the nose. And then I detailed the uh, wingtip lights, that's the starboard green. And support side red light and the last thing to do to get this model complete was to scratch build a little antenna to go on the spine there and it in front of the tail fin and paint it white so that's it guys let's go to the final reveal
Oh, my God.